Welcome to Pro Tools Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this free video tutorial, I'm going to show you five keyboard shortcuts that you can use in the Pro Tools edit window. Now, if you're new to Pro Tools, you're going to want to learn these. These are going to help you to work with MIDI clips and audio clips in the edit window. They're going to help you arrange your tracks, they're going to help you arrange your clips, uh, and more importantly, they're going to speed up your workflow. So, watch and learn. Now these are very much my top five keyboard shortcuts that I show to people that are new to Pro Tools. And we're going to start with separating clips. So let's have a quick look at the top here on this MIDI track. Now let's say I like this section. Uh, I want to repeat it or I want to take this and put it somewhere else down the timeline. Well, let's start with that. Let's say we want to move this section, I don't know, here somewhere. We need to make sure that we're in grids at the top here. So that's highlighted blue. You know, you'd be working in grids if you've been working to a set BPM tempo. Make sure you've got the smart tool selected up here. And on the keyboard, you want to hit Command E, and that makes a separation. So now we've got a beginning and an end on the grids of that clip. And we can hold Alt on our keyboards and click and drag, and we can drop that somewhere else. Now we've got a copy of that loop here. If we didn't hold down Alt, we just end up with a blank space. You don't want that. Now, if you wanted to duplicate that clip to start, as soon as that one finishes, you can just do uh, Command D, duplicate. There you go. Second, third, fourth. And of course, you've also got Command C for copy. Start there. Command V for paste. Now, sometimes we want to turn parts of a clip off, otherwise known as muting. Now, this is useful in music arrangement. Let's say this section here, I want to listen to the song without the drums in that section. So instead of deleting it, because we might not want to do that, we might want to have it back at some point, we can, as long as it's separated, hit Command M on the keyboard and we mute it. So it's gray, which is a good way of preserving the, uh, the track, because you never know, you might want that back at a later stage in the production. Now let's move down to this audio clip here. And as you can see, all these bits here have been cut up. It's a bass guitar line. The beginning of the clips don't start or end on the beat, on the grids, meaning it's going to be difficult to move these about. Well, it's not really. Let's start with a typical moving a clip down to another track. Let's say you're comping some performances together. Now you can just click and drag. We're in slip mode at the top left, as you'll see there. But this can happen. Your mouse can move left or right uh, when you're moving your clips up and down. That just means you're going to move things out of time and you might not realize that until later in the production. Now, if you want to move one clip or several clips, we can just select there and move them down to another track, but making sure they don't slip left or right. You hold down control on your keyboard and drag down. And now if I move my cursor left or right, you'll see that those clips don't shift. They stay exactly in that moment in time, just on a different track. Okay, so let's say I want to make a copy of this audio. And again, as you can see, it's not on the grid. So it's not going to be as simple as just picking something up like this and dragging it across. Or is it? Well, I'm in grid mode. I'm going to make a selection a bit before where this starts and to where it ends. And I can either again do my command D to make a duplicate just after that. Or again, I can use my Alt click to make a duplicate and drop that in time. Okay, the last essential keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is fades. Now, fades are really important, especially if you've been chopping up audio like this. And if you've got a large section you want to work on, I'm just going to use this small little bit here as a demonstration. Highlight, Command F, and you get this box pop up, and you can set the fade in length and fade out length. Just going to keep them on that for a minute. Click OK, and it makes those fades across all of those clips. Now, sadly, there isn't a keyboard shortcut for removing fades, but you can just go to the fades menu here and click delete and they're all gone. And that's about it. Those are my top Pro Tools edit window keyboard shortcuts. Hope you guys got something from this. For more free Pro Tools tutorial videos, just like this one, do click the card at the top right of the screen or the description below. I'm Dan from Pro Tools Expert and I'll see you again soon.